Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to create a pie chart in Excel. And to do that, let's say we have a list of five different brands for a company and their profits, and we want to add that into a pie chart just to be more visual. And in order to do that, I'll show you two ways. One of them is more automatically, it's quick, but uh, it has some downsides that I'll tell you about in one second. And after that, I'll show you how to create a pie chart from scratch. Before that, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, because re this really helped me to keep posting new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. The first option is you just need to select the data and select insert menu here in the top ribbon menu on the charts group select the pie chart icon and click on the first option just call it pie and you notice that the pie chart will be automatically generated uh, we didn't select any colors we didn't customize it but uh, you have your graph you can do that later but um, uh, I will not show it right now, I will show it later, but what's the downside of that? Let's say you have a column between here, between the branch and the profit, and you don't want this column here in your chart. If you select all the data, you will need to unselect the, the columns that you don't want in your chart. You see that you don't have your chart anymore. And to do, to do this filter, you need to understanding how the pie chart works, the data collection. That's why knowing how to do it from scratch is better, but it's very simple. To do that, select, uh, just don't select any cell, don't select anything, just hit insert, pie chart, first icon, and you see that we have just the area of our graph, of our pie chart. Now right click over the area and click on select data. Now you need to add the information to add our data. On the left side, select add menu, add icon. Series name, you can either type whatever you want or you can select the cell that contains the value that you want it to be the title of your chart. And here on the series value, you can select the values that you want it to be displayed in your chart. Hit OK. You notice that the legend is uh, is now just numbers, and you don't want the numbers. You want the branch names or units. So click on Edit, and select the range that contains the branch names. Hit OK, and OK. And you notice that it's the same uh, graph as before. But now you know what's going on, what's happening. If you had another columns here, you will, you will be selected just the columns that you want in your graph. Now I'll introduce you a little bit about customization. Um, I won't be uh, very detailed about that. It will be very quickly so you can do some customization in your graph. Let's say you wanted the legend here on the right, not on the bottom. Just click here on the top right button, this plus sign. Select legend here, this arrow just besides the name, and select the right. And let's say you want to print, you want the names, the values printed on your chart. Select the data labels, and you see that some of them are inside, some of them are outside, it's because by standard, Excel selected the best fit options. But let's say you want to have them outside, just to be uh, reasonable, just to be all the same style. There you go. Another great feature is, let's say you want to also add the percentage of each value here. You want to know, for instance, how much the $12,000 represents in the total pocket. To do that, you just need to select more options and just select percentage here. You could also add the branch name into the labels. Just need to select the category name and you can get rid of the legend here on the right side. But I just want to select that because there's already a lot of information. You can also change the layout, the colors, by selecting this chart styles icon here. And you have 
some pre-definition, some pre-made options, both in style and both in colors, and you can play with that. But I will make another video showing you how to fully customize your graphs. So this was our today's video. I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, make sure to hit the bell, send this video to a friend, and I will see you in the next video.